Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld. It's been, oh, it's been several days since I've recorded one through the Christmas holiday. I'm trying to remember what we were doing. I know we've got this wall to get built. Um, done with the block cutting up in this area because we got enough blocks to build the wall. Otherwise, what were we doing last time? Oh, that's right. <laughs> Natalia and Tomislav had a brawl. That's where we were. Now, Natalia had asked that maybe I set her sleep schedule for the daytime so that she could work at night because a lot of her duties overlap Tomislav, where she's good at medical and research. So long term, he could be running research during the day and she could be running it at night. And there'd be a doctor available 24-7 for, uh, for emergencies. I think it was a good idea. So, but I'm not going to do anything until they get a little more healing done in their beds. They've not been given any medicine. Which is fine because they're, let's see, health, they're just bruises and cracks. There's nothing that can get infected realistically. Now, we'll see what the game does, but I don't think they truly need medicines for that. Same thing, just bruises. So, as long as they're in bed, I, I assume that means that their healing is, is either accelerated or just less of a chance of infection. I'm not sure exactly how that works. But in a hospital, the bed is better. It'd be even better if they were on a silver floor and, and uh, you know, different circumstances. But I've set them both to herbal for now. Remind me to get them back to the good stuff. Just in case somebody gets up and decides to play doctor and I'm not watching, then I uh, won't have to waste the good medicine on bruises. But uh, you know, just leave them alone, let them sleep, and then I'll set Natalia for a night schedule. And... We'll just continue on. I kind of worked through this a little bit more and got somebody set for cleaning, got somebody set for plant cutting, got to uh, continue getting the, everything replanted for one last round. We're at the 1st of September, and I'm assuming that we have all of fall before I have to worry about it. Although we're, a th I take that back, we're a 3060 um, growth schedule which means we have summer and a tiny bit of spring and a tiny bit of fall. So middle of fall should be the end of our growing. Interesting. So we may be planting for no reason. But we'll give it a try. I mean, some of these plants are, well, that's cotton. But let's look at cotton. Cotton is a grow time of... Where, grow times, eight days. So maybe, maybe not. Um, well, strawberries was like six days, I think. I got some over here. Strawberry plant, uh, grow time of 4.6 days. So we should get some of these crops through one more round. So we definitely want to get that done. But these folks all had a, a long night. They were partying over here. They had a brawl. It was all exciting. They're probably going to wake up starving. Handy's taken off her jacket. I did set up some um, outfit. Uh, policies. Jackets are only good for cool or cold. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, for summertime. I'm sorry. <laughs> Scratch all of that. Jackets are good for wintertime. They do not provide any cooling. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, unlike dusters. So I set jackets for winter only. And so they're going to be taking off their jackets and storing them. A couple of them did before I turn on the episode. We're swapping things around here a little bit, kind of getting ready. It was a, just going to be a dark, rainy night, not getting anything done, so I went ahead and ran a few hours to progress it. Mostly, colonist needs treatment. Tomislav, somebody woke up. Okay, he's no longer in bed. Let him drop that off, and then I'm just going to tell him to come back and, and sleep it off. He's not uh, far from, uh, from healing up. He's got... Uh, actually... These guys, the, the spines got quite a bit. Here's a 18, no, 18 out of 20. Never mind. That's only two. So over here, five more on the left arm, and what is that? Two more on the left. Natalia is still sleeping. Ham is hauling in what? Those look like mushrooms. They are mushrooms. Interesting. Let's look at these mushrooms here. Not a ham, but the other food thing in here. Raw fungus raw fungus. <laughs> That's all we get out of it. Okay. Um, I had set some some in here to be uh, uh, harvested. But I never really saw anybody come in and do it, but I guess they did. Okay. 
Ah, Catherine's in there doing it. She's set to plant cut. I was hoping that would mean go up and cut the trees. How are you on food? Um, fine. Let's set you directly to here. We need wood. So you do that. Otherwise, who else is up and about? Rabbit is probably getting some food. No, he's harvesting potatoes. Chantigo is going to butcher. Good. Because I want some meat. And I want uh, some fine meals made. Rather than continuing on the simple meals. Uh, Tomislav is going back to bed. Yes. And we'll just kind of keep you there. Natalia, how's your food? You're in rough shape. Who can... Shantigo, you can, right? You want to go do that, but can you tend to Natalia as... Actually, not tend, but uh, feed. Feed. That's what I want. She can heal herself. Just need to give her reason not to get out of bed. All right. So Catherine is going to take care of the trees. Who else is up? Rabbit. Oh, good. You're finally getting the strawberries in. Well, kind of. You're taking the strawberries out, and we'll see if you two put strawberries back in. Never did get this thing fully planted. There's still uh, brambles in here, and see, click away. Yeah, brambles and an oak tree, which needs to be taken out, even though we're not going to get anything for it. Rabbit, you are now consuming a fine meal. Sure, we'll get that used up. In fact, uh, Sangria needs... Nope, you're fine. Who else can come over here and consume a fine meal? And just get that one done and used. Um, what was that bruise tended to? I didn't want any tending to. Um, health? Yep, she got tended to. Okay. Oh... Oh, I see what happened. I'm still used to Alpha 13. In Alpha 13, if I had told Shantigo to tend and then changed my mind and told him to feed, then it would have canceled out the tend. I forget in here, it just stacks one order after the other. So he probably did both. Or he did one, and she's going to go take care of the other needs. No, she did get some food. Okay. And she's going to go, how about I just tell you to rest until healed? There we go, and there, he's he's stuck in bed, but he's awake, and he's saying hi. Who did he say hi to? Was it Natalia? Had a nice chat. Okay, yeah, like I said, after they get done with their brawl, they'll they'll be best buddies before long. Anyway, Handy is quickly continuing to make dusters for the winter. After which, I'll have her make uh, parkas in case this winter is much more intense than than. Uh, we're anticipating. We've got to get the barn built. We've got to get uh, some construction going on. Kathra is consuming a fine meal. She's the one that I wish could have gone over here. This one, how you doing? Spoils in two days. we could get somebody to haul that. And these two don't need a meal. Um, Klaus, you need a meal? Nobody needs a meal. <laughs> Shantigo. Nope. So we're just going to have to haul that meal. Okay. So Klaus, drop that off. And unless you're going to wear it. Nope, then haul this meal, please. Thank you. Haul it or equip it or whatever you want to do with it. Alright, so these guys get the healing done. These guys are doing the planting. Make sure you're doing what? You're harvesting. Sangria is probably oh, relaxing socially. Must be getting to 1400. Yep. These guys are going to relax up here. Sit down and have a talk. Rabbit is going to play horseshoes. All right. Everything's fine in the world. So what is our long-term plan? Really, I'm going to have to uh, just assign somebody to start working on on uh, these these walls over here and get this built. need to assign folks to actually bring in the food. What food's over here right now? i got this out there in the rain. Boy, it rains a lot. When you click on World and go to our our little place, our little spot in this world, you can see how much uh, rain we get for this area. I don't know enough about it to know if it's a lot or not, or if it's just roll of the dice that we're getting this much. But anyway, you guys continue that. Alright, so we're kind of done with our with our joy time. Then, what can we do? Klaus is still on hauling duty. Can Klaus construct? He can, and he kind of likes it too. 
Let's have you specifically haul wood to these doors. Kathra is chopping the trees down as fast as she can. That's good. Um, Rabbit is taking these down, but he's taking them down in the rain. Let's go ahead and haul these in instead. Haul potatoes. Those two, and as soon as you get over here, let's have you haul these potatoes. You know, combine this whole group until you've got a load going in. And Klaus... Okay, you can lay out those, and then I guess I need to have you actually haul these in before they go bad. So you do that. And... Handy, how are we doing on dusters now? Let's think about that. Uh, you've got one. You don't, you don't. So that's two. These are all jackets. So Klaus hauled a duster and somebody put it on. So I guess I'll know when we have enough. Kathra's wearing one. Right? Looks like the right color, at least. Uh, Kathra gear. Nope. That's the raccoon leather t-shirt she's wearing. So, we'll leave Handy alone. She's the best constructor, but she's also the best seamstress. So, we'll get uh, the coats done first, because we are running out of kind of warm days. We're still in the 70s. Won't be for long, though. Okay, I feel like we're doing something. Klaus was hauling that in. He's going back to building a door, because prioritize or clear prioritize work. He's still stuck on door duty. Temporarily, though, he's going to haul more of these in. So I'm going to have to learn how best to use that that uh, command. Anyways, Rabbit is well, he's sewing, but let's continue bringing these in. If the rain would stop, we could not worry about them for a little while, but it's not going to stop. Uh, Klaus is doing that. Sangria, same thing. Let's haul some of these in. Let's get these things out of the rain. Ah, we got medicine to get in, too. Shantigo! You need a break. Why don't you go haul these medicines in? What's over here? Groups of twos and ones, so that's all one trip. You're bringing those in. Rabbit, you can bring another load of it in right there. Catherine, I'm going to leave you alone. We need these trees. We need the wood. Klaus is bringing those in, and unfortunately there's still one more load in there. So, I'll just tell you right now, when you're done, then all these in next. And you guys over here, Sangria, drop those off, and then come over and haul these. And wrap it one more time. Come over and haul these. Oh, we got this over here too, and I guess haul that. Okay, if it would stop raining... You know, we could plant it and get more, or we could just, you know, save what we've got and use it. Probably going to be about the same amount of food in the end. We'll see. Now, we've got a 30-day out of 60 growing period, but we could pop a roof over some of this, wall it off, put a heat lamp in the middle of it, and continue growing at least some of it. In fact, that's, that's probably a good plan. We get to the middle of September, and we'll think about that. But by then, we also need to have a barn going for the animals and a power source out here, battery. And you can use that to get the orbital trade beacon up and going, too. As well, um, what was I going to say? There's another thing we've got to get done over there. It'll come to me. You guys are going to sleep the day away, aren't you? Well, or not. Natalia is fully healed, and she is insisting on taking care of Tomislav. Um, health. Who has seven ticks left on that one? Okay. Five left there. One. And none. Tempted just to let him sleep it off. Um, how are your needs? You could use some food. How about instead, Natalia? You just... There's no feeding. Interesting, because it hasn't gotten to that line yet. That must be it. Well, what can I do instead? Let's just assign you. Cannot prioritize research yet. They have to do it on their own. Okay. Well, in that case, I could simply take down her doctoring one notch for a little while. And 
I can't have you haul that away, but you can go and research for a while. He'll be fine on his own, so we won't waste the medicine. Otherwise, Rabbit, you're going to do these, that. We've got most of it in. Yeah, we'll call that good. Now, Kethra's still chopping away over here, and she's doing it of her own accord. There's no forcing of it, so she'll stop whenever she feels the need to stop which is going to happen here real soon. Bedtime coming. That's right, Natalia. In fact, this would be a good time to do it. Restrict Natalia. Let's set you to a night schedule. Um, right there. Take your sleep off of there and put it in where? Hmm. Now, she doesn't get any bonus from social interaction, but she still gets a joy from taking some time off. It doesn't have to be with the others, though. But doing so, others will get a bonus from the interaction with her. So there's still something to be said there. So let's set like six hours from here to there. That kind of works. That's about the time that, that Tomasov will be getting up. He can take over the research as she goes to bed. And we'll see what time she gets up. If, yeah, we'll do one more. We'll go with that schedule for now. And we'll just see how that works out. Okay. So, any last important micromanaging to do? It kind of is. When these guys leave right now, you can bring in this one. And Sangria can bring in... How bad off is this thing? It's pretty much toast. I'm going to ignore it. But you could bring in this one. Uh, 15 of them, haul these in. That's it. Except for that guy that got left behind, that's it. And this did get mostly planted. Good. Okay. Then tomorrow, we'll concentrate on getting this thing built. Otherwise, another duster is sitting over here. Nobody's going to automatically put it on. That's interesting. I, I guess because they've all been assigned to do things. And now they're assigned to go to bed. So first one up may jump into that thing. That's probably it. Klaus is throwing horseshoes. Does he have... That color's wrong. What is that thing? That is a turkey leather t-shirt. Ooh, with his cowboy hat on. So he still doesn't have his duster either. He needs a duster. Klaus, how are your needs? You're looking a little rough there, but you'd look better in a duster. So why don't you, uh, why don't you wear that one? Then we'll give you a fine meal. Yep, there's something right there. And then you can take off to bed. Alright, and right... Which one are you going for handy? Right there. So consume that fine meal. And you guys can have a chat together while that's happening. Got an ostrich sleeping over here. They've got a pretty intense kick and they run fast, but... I also see, you know, a great big turkey on the Thanksgiving table right there. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll have to go... Uh, our, how does an ostrich compare with an emu? Let's see here. Six run speed, and what kind of damage? Melee of 3.87 per second. Can we find an emu? Emu? Is it emu or emu? If I don't find one, then it doesn't really matter. That's an ostrich. That's an ostrich. Now, there were some on this map, right? Seems like I was reading those the first episode and kind of laughing at the description of it. What are you? Don't know what you are. You're a burnt tree. A burnt tree. Maybe lightning. But that's something that's new to, to me. I've never seen distinguished burnt trees before. Um, no, I'm not seeing any. You are a dead raccoon that is rotting, so we don't want to bring that in. We have a dead tortoise that spoils in one day. Hmm, probably will already be uh, rotted by the time morning comes, so we'll just leave that there. Okay. Nothing else going on there. So we're going to take care of the food issues with Sangria, and then once that's done, once we get into winter, then she can have the whole winter to uh, go tame anything that's out there and bring them in. But right now, I'm going to use her, uh, 
her planting skills to the full potential. She's still set to handle, but not, uh, let's see here, Sangria. So still a one on handling. Okay, it's not, it's not going to be the entire time, but, uh, yeah, she's spending most of her time growing. Because you can only handle one, I think the animals have a timer that, uh, that goes off. You know, they only be willing to be worked with so many times a day. All right, so notes. Anything important going on here? Um, clean the refrigerator. Who's set to cleaning? Got a lot of rubble in here. Clean. That is Shantigo. Once his cooking is done. Ah, and I figured that would actually happen fairly soon because we have plenty of the of the uh, simple meals, and there's only so much meat. So 75 and 72. When these two are done. Uh, turn into meals, then he should drop into cleaning mode. Though he'd probably clean over here as well. But we, we do have a lot of cleaning to do, don't we? Actually, not too bad. Well, a lot in here in this main area. Yeah, there's there's quite a bit. The main hallway here and through here. It's pretty rough. But I should set him specifically to clean this out just to have it done. Uh, Rabbit is grabbing a meal at... Four in the morning. I'm still set to beauty, aren't I? All right, there. Okay. Four in the morning. Why? Uh, rabbit. Rabbit. There you are. And needs. His food was so low. Well, he did kind of get done with his rest. Okay. So you're done with that. You're gonna get out, get to work on taking the corn down. Mm hmm. Too bad I can't assign. Oh, you are planting. So the corn is only 89%. Oh, good. I'd rather he planted right now instead of uh, harvested. So it looks like we're going to get to that. Now, I can't tell you specifically to... Oh, I can. Oh, good. Then let's get the hay grass going one more round. How long does this take? Can we get one more round out of this for winter? Hay grass is seven days. That's iffy. So we'll have to plant some in our, in our, uh, our greenhouse, we'll call it, when that's done. But specifically, I need to get that wall built. So, Sangria is cutting grass. Oh, meaning you're making, you're preparing a bed for planting. Okay. Um, almost tempted to have Handy dive in to uh, do some of that construction on the wall, but I really, yeah, I really do need to get these dusters completed. We could try setting up a second bench. There's that. We can get two people doing the same job. But, hmm. Who? Let's do it this way. Work and tailoring. Natalia can do it too. Hmm. Tell you what, let's have Natalia do it. We'll set this to a two. And... Hmm. Where can we put a second bench? Let's production and... What would that be called? Hand tailor bench, electric tailor bench. Let's put this in. Right there will do. And... Hmm. Just waffling here. Thinking about that. For now, see, Natalia can't finish this product, this project right here. This is Handy's project, and she's got 292 work left to it. I didn't get there in time to stop her. So it's just going to sit there in the way while Natalia takes over. So we'll see how that goes. She's going to sleep for several hours, too. If I can get back here when we get down to, you know, 10 left and babysit it, then I can set Handy off to go do something else. And Natalia can come in and I keep seeing them one roofed or unroofed right there. It is unroofed. What's going on right there? Okay, what did I do? Zones, build roof. I unroofed it. Pause. What just changed? Colonist needs treatment. Starvation. Uh oh, someone got prioritized. I did that when there was a butcher's table. So we need to build roof. Okay. Who is starving? T 
Tomislav didn't get out of... Okay, I set to rest until he was healed. Needs, he's starving. Poor guy. <laughs> he's got a great mood, though. You know, good disposition. But, uh, yeah, he's, he's been completely neglected. All right, how your, how's your health doing now? Mal besides the malnutrition, um, he's almost done with these bruises. His spine is back to normal. And his left arm is almost finished. Okay. You're almost you're almost out of the woods there, guy. You'll you'll make it. It'll be okay. <laughs> so Klaus is restocking these things and he is off to haul fungus. Okay, Klaus, let's set you your needs are yeah, you know, let's give you a meal, because I might forget you too. But let's go ahead and consume a good meal and then we're gonna set you out to just construct and this rain will not stop. Stop. Oh, it's frustrating. It makes for an ugly video. Everything's gray and dreary. So, Klaus and Tomislav are going to have a talk. Tomislav's going to tell him all about being chained to his bed until he finally broke free and could go get a good meal. And he is going to go play horseshoes because, dang it, he's not going to lay there anymore. <laughs> Klaus, you need to come up here and actually get to work on these doors. So let's, not the tree, let's do that. and see where that goes from there. You're going to pick up this wood over here. And get to work on that. Natalia's still sleeping. Handy, this has got 172 left. And these guys are busy, hopefully, sowing rather than harvesting. Good. That's what I want to see. And <clears throat> Klaus is filling these up with wood and getting to work. Is he going to hang around? Prioritize work, I assume, means the door. So he's just going to continue until I remember to stop him. Catherine is over here of her own volition. So that's nothing to babysit. Natalia is still there. Shantigo is cleaning away. So specifically, why don't you clean rock rubble for a while? And we have plenty of meat, so we, we're not maxed out on meals. Interesting that he was working on cleaning. Huh. Oh, because the cook stove's not working. Okay. Well, that'll give him an excuse for a while. Well, Klaus solved that problem. Okay, no problem there. So, otherwise, you are hauling potatoes to stockpile this stockpile, and we're topping things off. Don't need to. Let's let the dogs do that. You hop up here and continue working on this. In fact, let's just set you for construction. Well, if Handy would get out there, she would just you know, look at it and it would be done. So, 97 left. We'll, we'll let her do most of it. The rain has stopped. Good time to do the harvesting. All right. All is good in the world. Shantigo has left. Where'd he go? <laughs> there he is. He said, uh-uh, I got food to cook. Well, that was interesting. Now, I assigned that to him. It became a forced job, and yet he was able to say no. So why does it work sometimes and other times not? That's really weird. Anyway, I'm tired of predicting why it's doing this but not doing that. And you are trying to haul again. Okay. I'm going to get this done. I'm going to have to take you off of hauling. That is cleaning, so that would be Klaus's hauling, which puts you up at cooking first, which there's nothing to do. So that takes you to hunting, and there's nothing to hunt, so that takes you to construction, which you're probably going to work on an, on a, um, a sewing table. What was that? Bruise healed. Good. And Natalia? No, she just treated him. Yes, she did. Heck with it. I'm a doctor first. <laughs> well, that's why I had him set for the uh, the herbal medicine. We'll set Natalia back as well. So that if they got away from me, they would still get... It, it, we wouldn't lose any good medicine over it. Okay, and maybe that'll speed up his healing. That's possible. All right then, Natalia, you are off to cut stone block. Because research is no longer your number one. Natalia, right there. So, tailoring is, but you... Nope, stop! I didn't stop you in time. You're not going to do it anymore. Work. 
and we're just going to take you off of there. So tailoring is down to a two, and that makes construction your first one, and then plant cutting to get more logs to go back to the construction, and then eventually drop back into tailoring. Okay, do that, but first you're, no, you're gonna go work on our granite wall. So 434 work left, and only Handy can do it, but Natalia should be able to uh, uh, just toss that aside and go get her own. We still have plenty of cotton. We have quite a bit. Yep, we're good. Any more out here? Nothing. And Sangria is planting still. Just those couple that, that were done. Whatever the rabbit ate, probably. And speaking of rabbit, who can take out a rabbit for me? Let's see. Natalia, you... Um, character, you've got shooting of three. How many weapons do we have left? Do we have a pistol? We do. Why don't you equip the revolver? And let's run through the course here. You're building a roof. Oh, good. I put roofs over these two. And now you're going to build a roof over here. Nice to see Handy constructing again. It feels more like that's just the way it's supposed to be. All right. Now you are off to build a granite wall again. Okay. Um... I was going to click on you so that I could scroll through and see if anybody's missing. There is one missing. Who was that? Catherine's missing something. She has a shooting of three as well. So what is left? Where am I? Right here. Hmm. I have a sniper left. I'm not going to do her much good. Tomasoff's fully healed. Good. And... Hmm... Not sure what to do with that. She's going to go unarmed for a little bit. Klaus, stop. You are making kibble. But you're going up here to, oh, to grab some potatoes. All right, we'll leave you alone. I want somebody to take out a rabbit. But I guess we'll ignore that for now. Otherwise, how's Handy doing up here? And how long have I been doing this? About a half hour? Okay. We're not done with the fun yet. Thomas Love and Handy, good. And they're doing it on their own. Is there anybody who I have now assigned to something that's going to starve them if they... I don't remember to pull them off of it. Nobody. Good. So you guys are all doing what you're supposed to be doing now. Including Klaus is hauling kibble over, leaving us at 75 and some extra piled off to the side. Interesting. I guess that's because there's no place assigned for it. Just this one square. This has got turned off. So we dumped it there. That was nice to see. It kind of worked without having to actually lose this animal sleep spot to move that into another stockpile. So, that worked real well. Natalia, stop. You're kind of stuck on uh, block cutting mode, but how about you? I cannot assign. Is it because that's the last one? Bills? Make dust or five more. Why can't I assign Natalia to make to, to use tailoring bench. Right click. Interesting. I can't do it. So she just has to do it on her own. So if I were to do that and that, you really want to make granite blocks. Okay. Hmm. Now I can tell Handy to do it, right? Yeah, prioritize tailoring. What am I missing here? Work. Natalia. Taylor, one. She's a five out of 20. She's capable. Natalia, right click. Nothing. I'm confused. <laughs> and these days are going by way too fast. Feels like we spend more time in the dark than out here enjoying the daytime. I guess it's because our daytimes have been all stuck at... Uh, um, who's about to finish here? Stuck at, uh, rain. Natalia can't haul. So she's cutting more stones. And I took the radius way down. So they only go so far to get their stuff. Cathra, you are... If I can click on Cathra. Making a small sculpture, because I put her back on artwork when she got done with all the plant cutting. Which means all the plant cutting is done. Wow. Okay. What I would like you to do before you leave the area, though, is go ahead and just bring all the wood over to these things. Let these guys continue to plant. Won't bother them. 
And then probably tomorrow you can art all you like. Oh, you're cutting that. Okay, forget that. I just want you to haul the wood. Perfect. Now haul this wood. That's a wall. Oh, okay. Wood, 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 and haul this one. How much wood is in a door? Well, I won't know unless I... Okay, now haul this one. Apparently 45 or whatever was enough. What is in a door? Uh, 25 wood per door. Okay. Where'd you go? There you are. So if you can get everything hauled and everybody else with some skill and, you know, set to their work schedule, just come out and build it. So in that case, let's have you haul the, the granite to these. And Klaus, why don't you quickly move that one? Okay, stop there. And then, what are you doing? You're hauling granite? Nope. Just go back to doing that one. Catherine will do that. Oh, there's a tree in the way. Never mind. These trees, they're just, they're just so invisible. Tomislav's working. You're chopping that down. We're just going to have a group effort here. Uh, you are doing what? Consuming berries. No, come get a real meal at a table. Mm, this is gone. Okay. Yeah, go do what you want. That'll be fine. So, Cathra, as soon as you finish that, you can go ahead and haul these like you were wanting to before. Saying hi to Klaus. Okay, what's been happening over here I've been missing? Well, no dusters, that's for sure. That is so strange. It's like, I wonder if the table, because, you know, it used to be Alpha 13. Natalia would just come over, pick up Handy's work here, toss it off to the side, and get to work on her own. Go gather her own materials and build it. And you could have, if three or four people are assigned to uh, uh, sewing, then you'd have three or four projects all piled up around here as each one grabs their own and goes to work. I wonder now if this table is now assigned to Handy because her work is on it. That's what I am suspecting. Shantigo, you're cleaning dirt. After you start bringing the building materials over to this. And you're training. Okay. Setting our wild boar one to rescue. And then eventually haul. Good. Now. Um, okay. Shantigo's doing that. So maybe tomorrow, if we can get this thing built, then Natalia can get to work making dusters while Handy's finishing the wall. Can you... Hauling components. Okay, good. You're going to continue. Now, you guys are doing what over here? Catherine snuck away. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> All right, that's fine. And, oh, Catherine slighted Shantigo. What was that all about? Thumbs down. Um, Shantigo had a nice talk with Catherine after he was slighted by Catherine. <laughs> Interesting. All right, so Rabbit's going to bed. Sangria is hauling potatoes in. Good job. Kethra is still trying to make her sculpture. She's going to make it out of wood. And who else is up here that thinks they're going to bed and is not going to bring things in in the process? All right, Handy, you will as well. Uh, just have this one thing over here, which is going bad. We'll, we'll ignore that one. You can bring these in. And Tomislav has no bed. <laughs> okay, well, that's one way to do it. Just sleep under the stars. Now, you are no longer a doctor, but you are set to Tomislav. Okay, try that again. Tomislav, you can haul in these potatoes. Um not going to have any left. Okay, then you can haul in these potatoes on your way. You slept through a good part of the day anyway, didn't you? Where you at? Right there. And needs 
yeah, you're only resting because the uh, the clock says you're supposed to, not because you really need it. Natalia's up for the day, and she is up for the night, going for a a uh, another chunk to uh, to break down. Shantigo is grabbing his components to get this going, and then I'll I guess I'll have to release him from that duty, or he'll never get to bed. Yeah, right there. Kathra is on her way to bed. And I'll tell you what, Shantigo... Whoa ho ho! Shantigo and Kathra are about to... About to start to, a brawl of their own. What was that? Social insulted Shantigo. What did Shantigo do to you? Um, had a nice chat with Kathra. <laughs> I guess it's just all how you look at it. Anyway... Let's just get this under a roof and go ahead and clear that and go to bed. Yeah, that'll be good enough. So Tomislav is bringing these in. He's going to drop them off way over there. Or if I just clear this, and you can drop it off at the closest place and go to bed. And your rest will be done soon because you don't need much. So you'll be up early and starting your day. Okay, there's more I want to build. Of course, we want to get the barn in and all this stuff, but I really want... Wish I could, you know, babysit this. I really can't go through and set just the outer wall because that just lets them right in. There is no real wall here. It is a constant doorway that is this long. So there's no way to just build part of it. Hmm. Well, tell you what, it's nighttime. Let's go ahead and think this through. This barn, I was thinking, would go here. And if the enemies are funneled all the way to this point and come in right here, then that's a fairly safe place. This is no longer needed. In fact, right now it's kind of worthless because they can't sit here and shoot anything. So I may as well take these down. So deconstruct is X. Those can be taken down. Um, though deconstruct is no longer a high priority for construction, unlike repair or roofs, which are the highest priorities. This has been here all episode. No one's touched it because they have other jobs to do. So if it's real important to get that done, then I'll have to uh, just manually set it. But So barn over in this area. I think that would work out. Um, I'm assuming that, except for you know the rare spots, most of the stone is set. So, or the stone blocks, the granite blocks, which means we still have 105 granite blocks available. So I guess we could build this out of granite. I think that'd be fine. So let's do that. Um, an ambrosia sprout. Eh? A grove of the mysterious ambrosia bush has sprouted nearby. If you wait for the plants to grow, you'll be able to harvest the delicious, pleasurable, and sweetly addictive fruit. A slightly addictive fruit. So it's like a drug. Interesting. A rarely sprouted sprouting bush which yields the ambrosia fruit. Ambrosia is a pleasure is pleasurable to eat and produces a slightly addictive chemical warmth effect. Meaning it warms you up on a cold day. That might be it. Something you'd want to save for winter. I've got everybody set to um, no drugs. So nobody would actually eat it. Is ambrosia a choice? It is. Okay. Uh, what does that mean? Four addictions. Okay. No drugs. For joy. So don't take it for joy and don't take it on a schedule, but you can take it for addictions. Hmm. Okay. We don't plan on having anything in the colony anyway, but all the things will just drop in on us. And if they already come addicted, then they will, let's clear forced, they will um, have a, a serious or a negative debuff if their addiction is not satisfied. So, But if you don't satisfy, there's a timer, I believe, that, that eventually counts down until they have been basically weaned off of the addiction. 
So, kind of a complicated drug policy in the game. I prefer just to stay away from it, but we're not going to be able to, to do that for the whole series because folks are going to come in already addicted and, and uh, other issues. Or We'll see. But, yeah, we'll keep an eye on that, see what that's all about. Harvest it, bring it in, park it in a corner somewhere, and kind of decide what to do with it later. You know, if, if we find out that our dusters are not enough and we can't make park as fast enough, maybe we'll have a, an ambrosia-addicted colony by spring first. <laughs> anyway, you are insistent on hauling these, you know, just to get this done. Let's go ahead and clear this until there's no more um, granite up here. So cancel you and bills are no longer set. Let's make granite blocks forever and set a radius of quite small something like something like that just skipping those over there and close drop on floor and Natalia since you insist on doing it let's have you do that and then you'll just have short little trips and they'll be done and that will be the end of it for a while we don't really need to continue that right now, except that I'm going to want to line all of these rooms with something, and this is mostly granite in here, right? Marble. Oh, it's marble over here. It is marble. Granite's over here. So we might line the walls in this area with granite and the walls this area with marble. So I added, before I started the episode, an extra bill. Once the granite's done, fall back into any stone, and the any stone, in our case, is limestone and marble. So we'll, we'll find other things to do with the limestone. In fact, limestone could be what's built out here. Although, I need to make sure that we're going to have enough to get this done. How... That's right, that's what I was going to work on. How big... How many stones will it take to make a decent-sized building? I guess is what I want to say. So, I think we're looking at wood over here. Hmm. Do I do a granite face? could do that in case someone does make it through and starts to pick on the building enemy we have a door here and a door here okay so I do need this pathway so let's hmm let's go to wood and we'll lay out this to we'll go to there with it Actually, we'll come back one. So let's uh, clear these two. Let's granite this front. And we'll turn the corner a little. What is that noise? He's chomping away on berries. <laughs> at least he had a table to do it at. That's good. Um, before I get back to this, though, I wanted somebody... Uh, to continue bringing the building supplies over to this table. Sangria, what are you doing? You are hauling raw fungus. Let's have you haul items to, to this. But I don't want you to build it. I wish I could just assign you to haul it. I need to remember not to have you build it, but have Handy do that. Although it won't really matter, will it? Sangria, your construction is basically nothing. And they can fail at the construction job and lose some of the materials, including some of our components speaking of interesting oh somebody's already hauled it back the one that uh, that uh, Shantigo dropped off over here to go to bed that must be what happened there okay anyway so we're gonna wrap the corner we have a two-toned building here and unless I decide to change my mind and do it differently but Something like that. A door, um, wooden door, and two of them. There and there. And the thought is one, two, three, four, five, four. Ah, that's a little, that's a little small. Okay, I'll show you what I'm doing here in a moment. Sangria had requested that she get a bedroom out where the animals are, since she wants to be the animal handler. So I thought I would build a a bedroom into the, the barn somehow. 
Um, so I'm just experimenting with this right now. We may find out this just doesn't work. I want to give her a, I will say a 5x7. And I want to make sure that the animals will not run through here every time they want to go to bed. So I'm giving them their own hallway. Though it would be really convenient. Okay, how better to do this? Let's do this then. Hmm. Okay, one entry. Back to granite. And inside of here there will be a an internal bedroom. Okay, that'll work better. That way she opens up directly into it. Let's see. Let's one, two, three, four, five, six. New lovers. Pause the game. Right there. Do I do that for a bedroom? We, we may just end up expanding the barn further out. Well, I will get into that next episode. What's happening here? Tomislav and Handy. Tomislav and Handy have come together and are now lovers. Okay. Normally, you would build a double bed because they're going to have the the urge to... Tomislav, Handy. Ah, spending time constructing together. Uh-huh. To... Wants to sleep with Tomislav. They want to, to be together all the time, like all new lovers are. But in a Noble Rambler series, when Tomislav drops down on one knee and puts a ring on her finger, well, and they have their marriage ceremony, then we will rebuild the beds. Until then, you're just going to have to feel the, the ache and the, and the, the need, like, <laughs> like the rest of us. <laughs> so, no, I'm not changing that until... It's official. So speaking of official, we need we need a party spot and a wedding spot that isn't piled up over here in all of this. I was gonna say all this ugliness, but actually it's not that bad compared to what this looks like when it's not cleaned. Well, okay, we're we're cleaning again. Okay, so we have a negative. This room? I mean, we don't have many good choices right now for a place for, for parties or or, uh, um, or a wedding or something like that. Combat supplier. Okay, we'll get to that in a moment. But I want to set that while I'm thinking of it or it won't get set and then they'll declare their own spot. I mean, I would say right out here, this is about as positive as we're going to get other than going into somebody's bedroom. But it could be dead of winter when that happens. So a bunch of negative ones a lot better than a bunch of uh, you know negative 16s and negative 20s. That's kind of what I'm thinking. This is all negative storage and storage. So a bedroom is decent, but that's kind of an awkward uh, way to do it. Hmm. Who's the party animal here? Whose bedroom would naturally be the host of a? Of a, uh, of a of a party you guys let me know in the in the chat what you think about that and I suppose the wedding spot could possibly be right here in Tomislav's hospital room that that kind of makes sense so let's turn that off let's go to miscellaneous and marriage spot until we have a better one um, right there <laughs> Hopefully, we don't have sick patients in here at the moment. As far as a party spot, you guys tell me what, what you think. But what's happening here? A caravan. What's my time look like? Oh, over 50 minutes. So we may have to do this next time. A caravan from Erwitthatna's People's Federation is approaching. They are a combat supplier. They will hang around the colony for a few days before leaving. You can attack them, but this will anger their faction jump to location they're coming in from this side okay and they got lots of goodies with them that's what's going to be on the the uh, muffalos be full of, of stuff to trade us trade with us with and usually when your first trade caravan comes in it's about the time that a raid pops in and and 
if they get injured on your map, then their faction doesn't like you. And if their people die, then you have to bury them. And then when they come to visit later, they'll see the graves of their people and get all irritated. And it gets quite dramatic. So I've got a feeling that um, this is about to explode into liveliness on us. Probably a good time to call it done for the day. But um, yeah, give me your thoughts. Wedding spot and party spot. And... What else is on my list here? Um, we'll move the hay for the winter into the barn as I get the barn figured out. I'm trying not to cut too deep into the mountain over here. Be nice not to have to deal so much with bugs everywhere. You know, just get some spots that are going to be bug free. So I think this would kind of work for now, though. Once we start getting a significant amount of animals, we're going to need to double this. So we're going to need much more space. But it would be enough to get through this one winter. We may find eventually, in fact, most likely, the barn is going to be down in here permanently. But temporarily, we just have to get through this winter. And this winter, we're not going to see that many animals. We'll, we'll go out and tame all that we can during the winter months. But still, we're not going to fill up enough sleep spots in here unless we happen to get uh oh chickens or something then then you want to see a population explosion that's 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 they, they breed like rabbits anyway with that i'm going to call this one done it's been noble rambler thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time Bye bye